Hello everyone, it's time to pick three winners. Just to remind you, I'm Adele Levine and I'm an intuitive and medium for 22 years and I've had this YouTube channel for some time and I've did a little switcher switcheroo, switch up, whatever, where I'm doing speed readings and picking three people to do speed readings. If you put in the comments, read me. And so we have the winners. Happy belated Memorial Day. Cheers. Isn't this so cute? Isn't this my cute little mug? Remind you that if you join my Patreon for only $5, I do speed readings, which I just did every month for people who are Patreon members. Members? Members. Erase that. I don't want to say members. Uh, <laughs> for, um, let me redo that. I pick, I do, okay. I do speed readings for everyone that is Patreon members every month. I do speed readings for every single person, plus you get 35% off. And I pick a winner, which I already did. So go over and check it out if you're a Patreon member. member. <laughs> Sorry. Um, which I already did if you're a Patreon member and I picked out somebody who won a one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me one half hour okay let's get to the winners so Dina Curtis hi Dina this is for you you are the first winner Dina what I feel like I see for you is that there's a lot coming at you there's a lot of th almost like things kind of being a little bit disorganized or just when you know you have a whole bunch coming at you at once and you don't know how to sort it out it kind of almost feels like a little, that's what I'm trying to say, hectic and a little bit chaotic time, but it is going to be very easy for you to sort it out. But you got to kind of get center and breathe and just, I mean, not just breathe. I mean, that's not going to do it, but you got to kind of start prioritizing what you feel is most important to you and kind of let some things go. So it's almost like cleaning house in a way, and that's what I see you doing. It's almost like you're sorting through everything and cleaning house. Sometimes when it comes for a shift, this is for everyone to learn, when you feel like everything's getting chaotic, it's not always bad, it's not always the universe against you, sometimes it's something trying to get you to change. This is for everyone to recognize. Okay, so for the next winner, Nicole in Wonderland. Ooh, Nicole in Wonderland. Okay, so for Nicole in Wonderland, the first thing that I see for you is I actually see you kind of laying down like the like the bricks to make a new path. It almost like I literally saw you going, okay, each brick I gotta lay down and it's time to forge a new path that I'm actually trying to, I, you already made a decision to make change, you already made a decision to make things happen, and you're kind of starting to like lay that path in front of you. It looks really calm and collective. It doesn't look like you're stressed about it, but I would say to you, take your time. And it's something I always say, that when you're trying to create change in life, creating a new path and a new bridge, you want to do it one brick at a time. You don't want to look at the whole picture and say, oh, okay, I have to get to the top of this mountain. How am I going to do it? Because you will feel overwhelmed. And so I feel like what you're doing is you are taking your time. This is something I totally believe in as a spiritual person, that when you know it's time to make change, you can't just like wake up tomorrow and say, I'm going to make this change. You're going to allow yourself to lay things down one brick at a time. So that's for Nicole in Wonderland. And my last and third winner is... Susan Thompson. So Susan Thompson, what I see for you is almost like there's a time for you to kind of like open yourself up and kind of allow yourself to open your heart up and be more receptive to things almost in the heart area not almost definitely in the heart area it's about healing it's about recharging it's allowing all of those new things changes to come when it comes to the heart it feels like you got to kind of stop picking at yourself stop over analyzing yourself stop kind of looking at all of the self-help books and all of the tips and tricks that you need to do and maybe just kind of be a little nicer to yourself and take your time do something like pleasurable, like 
go for a walk, go on a little trip, you know, take those little breaks in the day. It feels like you've been on the go and on the grind and it's time to chill. This is what I always feel like when it comes to healing. We always forget healing doesn't always have to be like working on ourselves, working on ourselves. It's about sometimes just allowing to leave yourself alone. That is the winners for this week. If you would like a speed reading next week, put in the comments below, read me, and I'll pick new readers. If you won this week, please do not enter because it's not fair. I'm not just gonna pick the same people over and over again. Obviously, you can always join my Patreon. My Patreon is here for everyone to have a little community, to be able to meet other people who are like-minded and I post videos on like different subject matters like this last one I did on tea, candle tea, like tea candles magic. And, um, and then I do, of course, my speed readings every month. So thank you all for joining me um, and follow yourself. I wanted to say cheers. That's why I was like, hmm, what else do I wanna say? Cheers with my cute little mug. Follow yourself, follow no one, listen to your inner voice and I'll see you soon.